It's been almost 10 years since Dexter's disastrous finale, but Dexter New Blood is opening up a new chapter in the life of everyone's favorite serial killer. Now, if you're wondering how long Dexter could keep up his whole I'm not killing anyone thing, the answer is not very long. Let's take a look at Sunday's Dexter New Blood premiere, and obviously there's gonna be spoilers ahead. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. So we open on Dexter, I'm sorry, Jim Lindsay's new life in upstate New York. It's been 10 years without a kill, which is impressive for Dexter. And he's working in a fish and game store and dating the chief of police, a woman named Angela. Dexter, whether it's conscious or not, is staying close to police. It's almost like he knows he's not gonna pull off the civilian thing for very long. Now, how is Dexter kept from killing for 10 years when that's like his whole thing? Well, with the help of his trusty conscience in the form of Deb, you know, his sister slash adopted sister who fell in love with him during the last season, but then he arguably killed her? Or are we just pretending the last season didn't exist? Because I'm fine with that, honestly. All jokes aside, it's really good to see Michael C. Hall and Jennifer Carpenter on screen together again. Their chemistry is electric. Anyways, Dexter is living life in town, everyone likes him, he's so charming, until a guy named Matt comes in and screws it all up. To put it frankly, this guy sucks. He's spoiled trying to buy this big ass gun and he killed five people in a boating accident. Oh wait, did I say accident? Because we find out later he did it on purpose while playing chicken and his daddy paid to get him out of trouble. Boom, Dexter's triggered, and so am I honestly, but Deb is holding down the fort, for now. Oh no, enter Harrison, remember Dexter's son? He's grown up now and sneaking into his dad's house looking for some kind of closure. Dexter denies knowing him, sending him away, but that's strike two for Dexter's reformed life. Strike three comes in the form of a white buck, which Dexter is having a moment with when Matt shoots it, almost shooting Dexter in the process. All right, you're out, buddy. We all know the routine, and Dexter definitely hasn't forgotten it either. Tarps, plastic wrap, blood slide confession. Matt might have garnered some sympathy if he didn't launch into his whole my dad can sue your dad shtick, and he ends up just like the rest of Dexter's victims. Shish kebabbed. Clearly Dexter was really feeling that kill, and it looks like we're back, baby. And he's bringing Harrison back into it too. Ugh, it feels so good to be back and so bad to be rooting for Dexter to kill everyone again. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Let me know what you think in the comments. Head over to popculture.com for more on Dexter. At first, hit subscribe on our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.